see, it's all kind of vague. But before the stem cell treatment, I thought it was on a normal life. Uh, Norm was uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's about five years ago. And at first it was just a little tremor, tremoring and, and feet dragging and that sort of thing. Uh, he was put on medi medication, which helped a lot. Uh, just really improved him. But then it gradually, over a period of the five years, uh, it got down to where he could not walk without falling. He was falling a lot. He would shake more. He would couldn't really move his legs. You had to lift it up. Uh, he was more cranky and grouchy. Um, he just didn't really have no energy. And uh, he just said like he really didn't care if he wanted to live or not. It came down to the, the the big picture looked like he was just going to continue to get worse and stop walking completely and it, he had gotten to the point to where he fell uh, three or four times a week I had to call 911 to get him back in bed at night I had I was dreading bedtime because just walking from his chair to the bedroom was just almost impossible for him to get there without falling even with a walker, and we had railings installed in the stairway and everywhere else, but he continued to fall. The stem cell thing came up for me, and I had, well, that's, that's hope for me. I mean, I, I, I can see, I mean, it's new, it's controversial, and all that stuff, so what? If there is any way that he can get better, that's what I'm, I'm after. My goal was to help Norm get better. And quite frankly, I had decided to go to uh, Mexico and get treatment. Uh, Norm's son is a doctor, and he said, you're going where to get what? <laughs> so he said, no, I don't think that's a good idea. He said, find one in the United States. So we, I, on the Internet, I found STEMX. Joyce was more interested in it than I was. Because I found out they're going to take the stem cells out of me, run them through a processor somehow, and put them back in. I didn't know how that was going to help. We went in uh, November of last year. At that time, he was at the worst that he has been. I mean, he was he was just had lost the use of his walking ability just almost completely. Uh, even even with a walker, it was really hard for him to, to get around. He was shaking a lot. Uh, his mind was not focusing right. And he was talking about, said, you know, I can't remember anything. And I think it was about, uh, January, February, March, he, he still was in, in pretty bad shape, but I noticed things were a little bit different. Uh, he was talking more, able to carry on the conversation somewhat, although he wasn't real interested in that. Uh, but he had stopped falling so much. It, it, uh, got to where he was getting around with his walker pretty well and uh, he was beginning to want to do some things. Well it's been almost a lifetime ambition of mine to build a model train layout that I would be proud of got a physical therapist in and she asked what his goal was. He said to get to the top of the stairs so I can get in my train room. And she said, well, I'm not sure we can do that, but we'll, we'll go up to the, to the first level. And she did that. And Norm didn't give up. He said, I want to go all the way. So after a few weeks, they got up to the top of the stairs. 
And she was delighted. She said, we have met your goals. Adios. <laughs> I did improve with the stem cell. I'm trying to do things that I can't do, like get up in the barn. I've got 20 train tables to build. But Mr. Norman, his happiest time is going up by working on his train. And that right there is something that he could not do. He's like a child, excited to go up those steps. So, and that's what I seen personally. And he don't turn me on the train. <laughs> As a matter of fact, getting back up to the, up in the barn is a good accomplishment for me. He is just so different now than before stem cells or the first three or four, five months after it. He keeps getting better. He argues with me that he's not getting better, but I know better. <laughs> he can walk. Uh, he can walk without his walker. I encourage him to keep his walker close by just for safety. The, my client could not do half the things he's doing now. He don't shake. He don't do this. Have to pick, I literally had to pick Mr. Norman leg up. I literally had to push Mr. Norman in his walker. I don't have to do that anymore. So it is a big difference. It made the difference, made his life easier. And he is more happier for it. I wouldn't know what it would be like if I hadn't had it. I know what, I, what I'm like now. Dear, my life is very different. Uh, we still have a lot of doctor's appointments, and that's, that's most of the traveling that we do, even though we did go on a cruise in uh, January of this year. Uh, Norm and I and two of my sons and a, a friend of my son went on a cruise to Mexico, and we had a wonderful time. We made a couple of trips to uh, my family's home in Mississippi since then also, and uh, you know, he, he has enjoyed the trips, both of those trips, very, very much. It's, it's, he's got a life back, That's, and I have too. I'm gonna to get better. And that's what the treatment, I think, brings out in me, that I'm not done yet. I give stem cell treatment just 99% <laughs> credit for how well he is now. He is now, he's going down to the senior center, which they opened just recently, an eighth of a mile down the road. He's going down there every Wednesday at 9.30, and he plays bridge until 3.30 in the afternoon. And that is major. He had not been out with people in a long time until he started doing that. Uh, we go out, uh, at most any time we have a doctor's appointment, we manage to go out to lunch or to dinner with that. So it's, it's changed our lives. It's kind of given him back to me, <laughs> given him back to himself. This was a long shot, but I took the shot. And I think that I'm better for it. At least I'm on my, I'm on a journey to being better.